Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Blemmy. For those of you who don't know me, I am a 35 year old woman living with cerebral palsy. Today, I wanna to share with you something that I've been struggling with for a while now, and I'm hoping by talking to you, I'll be able to get it off my chest. Stay with me today, I'm about to get vulnerable. get too much into this video, I do want to say that these opinions and experiences are mine and mine alone, and they do not reflect anybody else's experiences or opinions but mine. Okay, everybody, today I just want to talk with you about something that I've been struggling with. Have my coffee here today, um, grab a coffee, grab a tea, um, and let's just have a little chat. So I've been struggling. I've been struggling with this pretty much my whole life, but more so since starting this channel. Guys, I've been struggling with what I call being an in-betweener. I feel like I don't really fit in either world. So what do I mean by talking about being an in-betweener? Well, for me, I grew up in a family that was half of Japanese descent and half of Scottish descent. I don't really fit in either of those worlds. I grew up in a small town where about 90% of the population was a specific religious organization, and I wasn't a part of that. But most predominantly for me and for this channel, I feel like an in-betweener in the disability world. And this has been brought to my attention most recently again, since I've started this channel. I am aware that my experiences are not perhaps typical of everybody's experiences with cerebral palsy. I know that cerebral palsy can vary from a wide range of symptoms and severities. I understand that there are people that are far worse off than me and there are people who have it easier than me. I can't speak for everybody. I can just speak for myself. But where do I fit? Where do I fit in this disability world? I'm not disabled enough for some people and I'm too disabled to pass as an able person. There's gotta be a, be a place. There's gotta be a place for me. Do you guys struggle with this too? Is it something I'm just gonna have to get over? Do you guys find these videos valuable? Or do you find that maybe I'm flaunting the abilities that I have? I don't know guys, I'm struggling. How do you find your place in the world where there is no place for you? where you're never going to be able, where you're never going to be able-bodied enough to be able to live in that world, and you're never gonna be disabled enough for some people to live in that world. So where do I fit? Where is my place? Is there a place for me? Do people genuinely care about my experiences and my struggles that I go through with cerebral palsy? Or would you rather leave that to people who are more disabled and have more struggles than I do? Where, where is it that people like me fit? I don't know. Maybe it's just the down day Maybe I need to care less about what the naysayers say. I don't know. I don't know, guys. Today is a hard day. I'm struggling. Do you have any advice for me? What, what do you do when you feel like you don't fit in anywhere? Where no matter what you do, you're just a little bit far off from each place. 
I don't know. I don't have the answers, but maybe you do. Maybe you can give me some words of encouragement down in the comments below. Or if you like this content and want to hear more, consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up so I know that what I'm doing is valuable to people. So that I know that there is a place for me in this disability community and that with representation, we can show the world that it is no black and white. It is not just abled or disabled. There is a wide variety in between and there is a wide variety of people in between and lifestyles in between. Okay guys, short and sweet for this week. Thanks for letting me vent. I hope to hear from you. Have a good week and until next time, Bye-bye.